join us in welcoming the distinguished members of our platform party. Ladies and gentlemen, based on the new COVID guidelines issued by the state of New York, if you are fully vaccinated and feel comfortable, you may remove your masks. <laughs> For all others, we ask that you follow the guidelines and keep your mask on. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Richard Larson. As president of the University Senate of Stony Brook University, I'm honored to formally open today's ceremony. Here now, in the presence of the candidates for academic recognition, faculty, administration, alumni, honored guests, and friends of the State University of New York at Stony Brook, our commencement ceremony is hereby convened. Please rise as you are able for the singing of our national anthem that will be led by Michael Chung from our music department. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous flight all oh, the rain as we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets regularly the bombs burst in in air, through the night that a flag was still there. Oh, say thus the stars burn gold, banner yet wave. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. It is now my distinct pleasure to present to you the president of Stony Brook University, Dr. Maury McInnes. Madam President. Welcome to all present today at this historic commencement. Welcome to the members of the faculty and staff, to the parents and friends of our graduates, and above all, to the graduating class of 2021. Applause 
it is my pleasure to introduce someone renowned for his extraordinary service for the state of New York. Although he's a Brooklyn resident, he has been a tireless advocate for Long Island and a close friend of the Stony Brook family, United States Senator Chuck Schumer. Hello, Stony Brook. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, the class of 2021. Everyone says your senior year in college will be the most memorable, and for many of you, it probably has been. The challenge of these moments are truly unique, but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're still celebrating this graduation it just goes to show that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what's so important in life. Nothing can take away from the fact that you've earned a degree from such a fine institution of higher learning. So, class of 2021, my message to you is simple. Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain, but don't let the harshness of this past year prevent you from seizing new opportunities. And we need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. So to the graduates, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. Thank you, Senator Schumer. And thank you for joining us virtually and celebrating this remarkable commencement. Graduates, I can feel your excitement. Today marks our return to in-person commencements. We are celebrating scholars who have persevered and even thrived during remote and asynchronous education. And we're able to do it alongside the friends and family who supported them all the way. And that is something worth celebrating. And I'd like to begin by leading a round of applause first for all of our guests who have been in integral in our graduates' journey, in our journey. So graduates, please rise and give your friends and family a round of applause. And now, friends and family, let's stand and give a big cheer for the class of 2021. Graduates, you have learned and grown more in your time in university than anyone could have predicted. On this momentous occasion, let us reflect on the qualities that will distinguish our Stony Brook University class of 2021. Stony Brook is a place of community. Between disciplines, students, staff and faculty, and neighbors and partners across the world. During their time here, our students make vital connections, friends and mentors who will buoy them personally and professionally for the rest of their lives. In a year of physical distancing, our class of 2021 learned different ways to collaborate and connect. You had to reorganize your home lives, prioritize health, maintain friendships, and adapt to new modes of learning. In the final year of your journey, you had to find community and connection during global upheaval. It was a daunting task. Yet time and time again, your class met this challenge with positivity, ingenuity, and hope. As the state worked rapidly to care for patients and fight COVID-19, our students ran test sites, provided medical attention, and use their knowledge in medicine and healthcare to keep our community safe. 
I am inspired by the way today's graduates have used their individual skills and interests to support one another. I am proud to say that the leadership of the class of 2021, this year Stony Brook University was able to conduct a combined 29% of classes fully in person or in hybrid form and keep our resident students on campus without any significant outbreaks. That is a remarkable achievement. Also in the last year, our nation has made a step change in acknowledging past and current systemic racism. Students of the class of 2021 were on the vanguard in demanding racial justice and working to promote equity and inclusivity within their own departments and organizations, even in times of exhaustion. As the class of 2021 sets out to make its contributions to our society, I cannot imagine a group of students more capable of moving these conversations into action. In times of strife, we will look to you as a constructive voice and the positive energy towards a better future for all. I recently had the opportunity to see the incredible art made by our graduating seniors on display in the Zoo Care Gallery. Much of their work reflected on the longing and isolation and emotional extremes of the past year. But significantly, it was clear that these gifted artists had found great beauty in the unexpected, intimate spaces. They have found real human connection in their art, and this is indicative of the kind of emotionally complex, mature perspectives that will always differentiate the class of 2021. In times of tumult, I know that we can turn to you for creativity, beauty, and perspective. Class of 2021, your unparalleled experience has given you a wisdom that was unimaginable just 18 months ago. You are leaving Stony Brook with lived, firsthand knowledge of the human condition and all its foibles, nuances, and possibilities. I submit that this commencement has unrivaled symbolic value. The world is opening up and you are joining leaders in a new world with new possibilities. It thrills me to see the class of 2021 embark on its next steps. As you join Stony Brook's more than 200,000 alumni across the globe, we want you to stay connected to Stony Brook engage with our passionate community and consider this university a second home to celebrate all of your achievements. Your track record is singular. You've graduated under unmatched circumstances, showing grace, determination, and resilience in the face of adversity. Your talent and experience can make an indelible impact on this world. You have seen the unexpected and pernicious challenges that life can deliver. And already, the class of 2021 has met many of these challenges and has never stopped learning. For years to come, we here at Stony Brook University will look with admiration at your demonstrated strength your proven compassion, and your earned wisdom. Congratulations, class of 2021. It is now my honor to introduce the president of the undergraduate student government, Asna Jamal. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am Asna Jamal. I am the president of the undergraduate student government, and I'm excited to present this year's senior class gift. 
In the 2004-2005 academic year, the class representative and the dean of students established the student giving campaign, which allowed students like us an opportunity to give back and show our support for Stony Brook. Over the years, students have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to fund meaningful initiatives on our campus. They have supported scholarships, student life, advanced the reach of the university's research and service missions, and helped to restore communities during times of need. Under the leadership of the Senior Legacy Council, the class of 2021 mobilized to continue this important tradition. As a result of their leadership and vision, many seniors have contributed to this year's class gift. You can identify these super seawolves by the red and black generosity cords that we are wearing today. I would like to take this time to recognize my fellow executive council member, Jolena Podolsky, who has also helped with the efforts to push this initiative. So Jolena, thank you so much for your good and important work. As contributors, we are not only helping to leave our mark here at Stony Brook, but are also demonstrating our citizenship to the world and taking the first step in becoming active and loyal alumni. President McInnes, as the USG president, I am excited to report that the senior class has again raised several thousands of dollars to support the Stony Brook Fund for Excellence, general scholarships, the Student Emergency Fund, Student Life, the Scholar Center, and many other important parts of our university. We hope that our contribution will allow us to leave a lasting legacy to the university and community. To my fellow graduates, thank you for contributing, and I look forward to seeing you at homecoming on October 23rd. Congrats, Seawolves. Thank you, Asna. And I'm thrilled to be able to say that the class of 2021 has raised more than $24,000 for Stony Brook University. Thank you for your hard work and dedication to Stony Brook. We are so proud. And now I'd like to introduce this year's student speaker, Kiara Arias. Kiara from New York City is graduating with her degree in political science, as well as minors in journalism and media arts. She has been a highly engaged and trusted student leader at Stony Brook, serving as the Director of Diversity and Inclusion Affairs for the undergraduate student government, a resident assistant, and a digital journalism teaching assistant. She has also completed marketing and communications internships and served on several university committees focused on student engagement at Stony Brook. After graduation, she will intern with the American Civil Liberties Union. Please join me in welcoming Kiara. Hello, Stony Brook graduates. I'm Kiara Arias, and just like you, I'm proud to be part of the class of 2021. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share a few reflections with you, our undergraduate and graduate students, celebrating this milestone today, both here in person and virtually. When I think back over my four years at Stony Brook, the first word that comes to mind is unforgettable. We've interacted with and learned from so many diverse people from all across the world, through our classes, clubs, and campus events. We spent many late nights studying, hanging out with friends, sharing our life stories, and having fun. We've been mentored, challenged, and supported by Stony Brook's faculty and staff to be our best. We've been cheered on by our parents, family, children, and loved ones. We've developed important leadership skills that'll take us far in life. We've taken part in some of Stony Brook's best traditions, like Roth Regatta and Midnight Scream. And we've had to explain to our family and friends back home, what's a sea wolf? Part of our collective experience is that we all have faced challenges along the way towards earning our degree. We've worked hard to achieve success, but we've also overcome obstacles. During my first week at Stony Brook, September 3rd, 2017, in the late evening to be exact, the residents in Simpson and I faced a short-lived challenge. That's the night the lights on campus fizzled out. People panicked, but the RAs, always ready, handed out glow sticks in the hallways and urged everyone to remain calm. While we were thrust into darkness for a short time, the light soon returned and our lives went back to normal. While this was only a momentary test of our resilience, it foreshadowed the significant challenge we would all face a few years later. In March 2020, the COVID pandemic affected everything in our lives and many people in our campus community experienced uncertainty, loss, and isolation. But as sea wolves always do, we again found light by working together, taking one step at a time, and never giving up. Through it all, we learned that whatever we're confronted with, 
whether it's a blackout or a pandemic, we're unstoppable. Our time at Stony Brook has been filled with so many great experiences surrounded by incredible people. Stony Brook has given us the space to chart our own path, make our own mistakes, help us be comfortable with the idea of not being perfect and given us the confidence that we have the tools to be successful. As we look to the future, I encourage us all to continue finding beauty in the ordinary little things. And when we do this, all moments become memorable and we'll find ourselves smiling even on our worst day, giving our lives a whole new meaning. Congratulations, class of 2021 graduates. We made it. Hi, I am Eric Wertheimer, and as Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Graduate and Professional Education, I am honored to confer the highest of all academic degrees and to recognize the accomplishments of doctoral candidates who have earned PhDs. Putting a graduate who has completed the requirements for a doctoral degree is a symbolic academic ritual that celebrates many years of study and investigation. It's an important and significant moment for both the graduates and their advisors. I invite President McInnes and Provost Goldbart to come forward for today's hooding of our candidates. As we call the graduates to the stage, we will present these graduates who are here in person first. Then we will call the names of our graduates joining us virtually. We appreciate your patience with this new process. From the program in biochemistry and structural biology, Forrest Bowling, advised by Michael Arola. Next from the program in biochemistry and structural biology, Valerie Cayo, also advised by Michael Arola. And now from the program in molecular and cellular biology, Deborah Kim Holtzoffel, advised by Jared French, and hooded by Michael Arola. And now from the graduate program in chemistry, Timothy Clement, advised by Iwao Ojima. And next from the program in chemistry, Jinwoo Kim, advised by Iwao Ojima. Next from the program in chemistry, Arabinda Bahera, advised by Jang Yong Ja. And next from the program in chemistry, Ilin Ma, advised by Michael White. And next from the program in chemistry, Kyusung Yun, advised by Nicole Sampson. Next from the program in chemistry, Jonathan Marino, advised by Peter Tonj. And next from the program in chemistry, Jeanette Tolentino Cojado, advised by Peter Tonj.
Also from the program in chemistry, Dok Kyu Cho, advised by Robert Grubbs and hooded by Peter Tonge. And next from the program in chemistry, Eisen Gross, advised by Trevor Sears. And now from the graduate program in ecology and evolution, David Cherifson, advised by Robert Thacker. And now from the graduate program in geosciences, Ella Holm, advised by Joel Hurwitz. Also from the program in geosciences, Jordan Young, advised by Timothy Glotch. And now from the graduate program in molecular and cellular pharmacology, Tyler Lewis, advised by Dongyan Tan. Next from the program in molecular and cellular pharmacology, Bruno Carvalho, advised by Holly Cognato. Now from the program in molecular and cellular pharmacology, Arwa Al-Anber advised by Benjamin Martin. And now from the graduate program in neurobiology and behavior, William Galbavi, advised by Josh Huang and hooded by Linda Van Utst. And now from the graduate program in neuroscience, Nicholas Gallo, advised by Linda Van Oost. Now from the graduate program in pharmacological sciences, Gabrielle Moody, advised by Lonnie Wilmoth. And now from the program in pharmacology, Christian Salazar, advised by Michael Froman. And now from the program in the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, Patricia Clyde, advised by Bruce Brownowell. Next from the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, Sabrina Jirasi Yi, advised by Jackie Collier. And next from the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, Silu, advised by Stephen Bropre.
Next, from the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, Xiao Ning Wu, advised by Kevin Reed and Christopher Wolf. And now we will recognize our graduates who are joining us virtually. From the graduate program in chemistry, Shanju Huang, advised by Benjamin Xiao. From the graduate program in molecular and cellular biology, Juliet Betke, advised by Adrianas van der Velden. From the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, John Borjaquez, advised by Ellen Pickich and Anthony Dvarskas. From the program in biochemistry, Ruta Santos, advised by Huilin Li. Also from the program in chemistry, John Kreinbill, advised by Christopher Johnson. From the program in molecular and cellular biology, Xiang Chen Mindy Chu, advised by Bruce Stillman. From the program in molecular and cellular pharmacology, Alexandros Kokosis, advised by Stiliani Tsirka. And from the Molecular and Cellular Pharmacology Program, Tanya Victor, also advised by Stiliani Tsirka. Let's hear it for them, loud. Congratulations to all of today's doctorates. The master's is an advanced degree signifying the acquisition of special theoretical and practical knowledge beyond that required for a bac baccalaureate degree. Master's degrees must demonstrate advanced analytic skills, complex problem solving, critical evaluation, and independent scholarship appropriate to their chosen fields. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise? Yeah. President McGinnis, it is my honor to acknowledge the accomplishment of these candidates. Candidates, please be seated. I would now like to invite Provost Paul Goldbart forward for the presentation of honors candidates. As Provost, I am honored to present to you our undergraduate honors candidates who are graduating today with distinction. Degrees with distinction are conferred upon candidates who have completed at least 55 credits at Stony Brook, have letter grades assigned to at least 80% of their coursework, and attain the requisite GPA in their program. The levels of distinction are cum laude, graduating with honor and representing the 85th percentile of all students, magna cum laude, graduating with great honor and representing the 93rd percentile, and summa cum laude, graduating with the greatest honor, representing the 98th percentile of all students. Attainment of a degree with distinction is indicated on each of these students' diplomas and on their permanent academic record. Will candidates graduating with the distinctions of cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude please stand and be recognized? <laughs> President McInnes. It is with great pride that I present to you this year's honors candidates. <laughs> honors candidates, you may be seated. Now, please join me in welcoming Nicole Sampson, Distinguished Professor of Chemistry and Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences to begin the presentation of today's candidates for degree conferral. Thank you, Provost Goldbart. I would also like to acknowledge my fellow deans, chairs, directors, and faculty who are joining us today. Thank you for being here. 
here. Thank you for being here. Welcome, College of Arts and Sciences, May 2021 graduates, partners, parents, siblings, and friends. Thank you for joining us today to honor our students and be a part of this special celebration. Today, through our three commencement celebrations for the College of Arts and Sciences, I'm proud to present nearly 2,100 commencement candidates for this May. The college is graduating 1,840 undergraduate students, 130 master's and advanced certificates, and approximately 135 DMA and PhD students. In today's ceremony, we will be graduating students with degrees in anthropology, human evolutionary biology, biology, biochemistry, biochemistry and structural biology, chemistry, ecology and evolution, biology with a concentration in ecology and evolution, geosciences, geology, earth and space science, genetics, molecular and cellular biology, neuroscience, molecular pharmacology, and pharmacological sciences. I am pleased that representatives from these programs are with us today on the platform. The past year has brought new challenges unlike many of us have ever known. We've stepped out of our comfort zones, learned new technologies, and engaged with each other virtually and now finally here in person. We've become accustomed to quarantines, social distancing, Zoom meeting, classes, parties, working from home or remotely. And our students, faculty, and staff have indeed risen to the occasion to do the best we could do in the most challenging of circumstances. I've heard from many faculty and staff that the behavior and adaptability of our students during this difficult time has been truly phenomenal. And our efforts have been successful as we begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's bright light today. Here we are today, fortunate to celebrate this very important milestone in person with each of you about to cross this stage, hearing your name and receiving the degree you've worked tirelessly for. As an educator for more than 25 years, I've witnessed the many impressive achievements of Stony Brook's hardworking students. You come from very diverse backgrounds, adapting and bringing your own culture and customs to our vibrant community. It is evident that you embrace change and challenge, taking advantage of opportunities that will have a positive impact on your future, whether you engaged in research, benefited from hands-on experiences through internships and other experiential learning, participated in clubs and organizations both on and off campus and more, often while working part or full time to support your education. I applaud each and every one of you for your strength, resilience, and perseverance. It has not been easy, and yet here you are, about to embark on the next chapter of your lives. That chapter may still be unwritten, but today is where it begins. And so I congratulate each of you, our amazing Seawolves, in your Stony Brook Red, our courageous and dedicated students who did not lose sight of the finish line, eager to complete this phase of your education and achieve your dreams. Our next wave of leaders, you made it, and it will be an experience you will never forget. Cheers to each of you. <laughs> President McInnes, it is with great pleasure that I present to you this year's candidates for the degrees of Masters of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Arts in the College of Arts and Sciences. I now invite Paul Shepson, Dean of the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, to come forward. Thank you, Nicole. I would also like to acknowledge our deans, chairs, division heads, directors, and distinguished faculty who are joining us as members of the platform today. 
Congratulations to all graduates and to all SOMAS graduates. What an, what an achievement you have had under very challenging times. We are here to celebrate your commencement and what a commencement it is. You are becoming what and who you will be. And this will include being among those who lived through a great global pandemic and who came out the other side stronger, smarter, more agile, and adaptive. I want to thank you for your choice in a degree aimed at understanding, celebrating, and protecting the Earth, which provides us the basis of all wealth and human sustenance. We join you in saying thank you for working tirelessly to support the magnificence of the natural world. The respect and gratitude that you give will come back to you throughout your life. This is a good time to reflect on those who have come before us, who have made our lives and our educations possible. So first and foremost, thank you moms and dads. as well as those who have enriched our lives and who are no longer with us. For the Somas family, this includes our former colleague and friend, Larry Swanson, and our colleague and friend and student and graduate today, Ryan Dury, who passed this year, but who inspired us and warmed our hearts and our lives with his spirit and passion for marine science. You will be greatly missed. Thank you for being part of SOMAS and now being Stony Brook alumni. You will always be part of the SOMAS family and we commit to supporting you and celebrating you as you move on to do great things, to change the world. You can change the world in the most positive ways. Let me finish these thoughts about the relief that we are starting to feel by quoting one of the world's most impactful people, Rachel Carson, who said, quote, there is something infinitely healing in the repeated refrains of nature, the assurance that dawn comes after night and spring after winter. Happy spring, folks. The future is yours. <laughs> President McInnes, it is with great pleasure that I present to you this year's candidates for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts from the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences. It is now my honor to invite President McInnes to join me as we recognize today's candidates. As before, we will be recognizing candidates here in person first and then honoring our graduates joining us virtually. Amanda Hannafin and Holly Rucker. Sydney Randall, Stephen Silverman. Anastasia Amato Lajos, Matthew Arasamo, cum laude. Samantha Ayala, magna cum laude. And Sydney Bell, cum laude. Muriel Bingham and David Blazon. Paul Bushman, Savannah Cabrera, magna cum laude. Nolwen Cardoso Joao, Nicholas Carl, summa cum laude.
Julia Chapman, Matthew Coletta, cum laude. Emily Daniels and Emily DiLorenzo. Ava DeMeo and Alyssa Diodato. Darlene Detell, Kiana Downer. Natasha Ferreira, Schwab Falloran. Megan Galger, magna cum laude, Alessandra Giza. Brendan Hallinan, magna cum laude, Clara Gramazio. Sabrina Holzburg, cum laude, Morgan Jacobellis. Sarah Jacobson, cum laude, Thomas Jensen. George Kalantzopoulos, Jennifer Katz. Faith Kellum, magna cum laude, Victoria Kopage. Jeffrey Kramer, magna cum laude, Suyi Lai. Nancy Leong, cum laude, and Christina Lapari. <laughs> Ashley Maggie, and Margaret Martella. Alexandria Magori, Janice McLaughlin. Jason Mitsopoulos, Danielle Morris. Alyssa Eng, cum laude, Benjamin Nichols. Laura Osa, summa cum laude, and Anthony Otters. Emily Pika, and Jessica Prosser. Emily Paleo, cum laude, Catherine Rabolo. Austin Reed, cum laude, Sandra Reyes. Kevin Justin Rodriguez, Sasha Rosen. Alex Schweitzer and Audrey Sinclair. Melanie Smith, Jillian Steger, cum laude. Michael Streit and Dian Xing Sun, Max, cum laude. Kaylee Sarasi, Julia Sweeney. Alessandra Tempestoso, Nayarit Tineo. Carlos Vallejo, Christian Van Dusen. Claire Vervac, summa cum laude, and Dante Vigliotti. Maya Boiltagum, cum laude, and Trinity White. Sarah Wittenberg, and Sadie Wilson. Lucas Andrew Wong, and Alexander Kramer. Hirsch, Hirsch Bandale, Christian Ridge, Amadubid, Magna Cum Laude, Feras Abodeker, Summa Cum Laude.
Pauline Afutado, magna cum laude. Puri Agarwal, summa cum laude. Ruchi Agarwal, cum laude. Hana Ahmad. Alicia Ahmadi, cum laude. Saad Ahmed, summa cum laude. Serena Aliwadi, cum laude. Amen Chowdhury. Faisal Akram. Abigail Achmpang. Hayat Alabed, magna cum laude. Salar Alam. Gabriela Albanese, summa cum laude. Mirtha Elaine Chavez, Justin Allen. Just like that, two at a time. Mary Alsuna, Jack Amaral. Mohammed Amin, Jonathan Amanov, summa cum laude. Emily Anderson, Navid Ashrafe, magna cum laude. Sunny Athwal, Michael Awad, summa cum laude. Anaya Awan, Bagarov Elu, summa cum laude. Neha Babar, summa cum laude. Andrew Balcarcel. Melissa Baldeo. Vincent Basso, cum laude. Jack Bauer, cum laude. James Bay, summa cum laude. Christopher Bennett. Samson Berlinski. Juan Bentacur, cum laude. Mehar Bayaritia, summa cum laude. Sinigda Biswas, Amy Blaze. Emily Brooks, Carolina. Brulinska, Stephanie Budan, magna cum laude, Austin Budram, Connor Burbage, magna cum laude, Joyce Campos, Gia Karagnan, magna cum laude, Jaron Cossi. Vincent Cavallino, summa cum laude. Jordan Chi. Ellie Tang, cum laude. Fanny Chen, cum laude. Lexi Chen, magna cum laude. Karen Chen. Danny Chen, magna cum laude. Kevin Chen, cum laude. Misha Chen, cum laude. Carbel Aladad, cum laude. Magna cum laude. Rachel Flores, summa cum laude. Mengxi Chen. Michelle Chen, cum laude. Yi Zhang Cheng, summa cum laude. Megan Cheta, Sarah Chin. Aero Cho, 
Shaf Trajari, cum laude. Faith Coggin, Kylan Combs. Alejandra Correas Campos, Valerie Corrado, cum laude. Emily Costa, cum laude. David Cruzati, summa cum laude. Abigail Cuomo, summa cum laude. Terena Daryayi, magna cum laude. Cassandra Dashley, Gabriella Datalo. Ariana Robinson. Andre Del Rosario, magna cum laude. Pooja Despande, magna cum laude. Morgan Simon, summa cum laude. Jeremy Diaz. John Conrad Diaz. Amy Ding. Mike Dokus. Mira Doshi. Gabriela Dominguez. Janine Douglas. Deanna Downs, magna cum laude. Taylor Doyle. Cara Dries. Ryan Dunn, cum laude. Naeem Eliatihim. Michelle Andres. Jillian Angle. Sarah Spinoza, cum laude. Caitlin Espiritu. Francesca Estevez Garcia. Sonia Farouk, cum laude. Peyang Feng. Sarah Ferrante. Scott Fiala, summa cum laude. Brittany Findel. Leonard Flores, cum laude. Ricardo Flores. Patrick Fullen, summa cum laude. Alisa Fomina. Stefan Franco. Michael Franzak, cum laude. Eric Fung, summa cum laude. Kitchener Gaston. Imani Gale. Bailey Gedeon. Roberta Jaffard, Jorge Gomez, magna cum laude. Justin Goodridge, Yogesh Galthaman, Taylor Granfield, summa cum laude. Kathleen Granito, cum laude. Alexia Grant, Kristen Granzen, Erin Griggs, Kavindu Gunartra, cum laude. Caitlin Hahn, Justina Muner Henning, summa cum laude. Alexandra Hernandez, Jonathan Hernandez, Vivian Hernandez, Lauren Ho. Kelly H. On, summa cum laude. Brent Hopsicker, cum laude. Mistak Hossein. Sophie Huang, magna cum laude. Arbab Hussein. Holly Lafrate, cum laude. Adana Ebikiu, cum laude. Simran. Arfon, Osatanama Araya, Nashita Islam, cum laude, 
Anaya Iyengar, cum laude. Lisa Jackson, summa cum laude. Miranda Jacobson. Anshuli Jadavad. Asna Jamal. Jasleen Jana. Anisha Javaji, summa cum laude. Allison Genulis. Shengdu Jin. Alana Zhou. Minu Jong Cuddy, summa cum laude. Archita Jose, cum laude. Jui Josie. Joanne C. Flores, cum laude. Jordi Gomez and Nusrat Islam Mim. Fitzgerald Reyes and Fatima Mohammed. Michelle Young and Donna Zhang, cum laude. Aditya Persad. Jonathan Hochberg, Magna, cum laude. Ariel Sharai, summa cum laude, and Callista Lee. Twinkle Metra, cum laude, and Leora Simon. Katerina Davidovich, Jasmine Sultan, magna cum laude. Samantha Lyman, and Aaron Duncan. Anika Martin, Brianna Calvin. Nicholas Das Ham, summa cum laude. Vali Pirzada. Michael Farber, magna cum laude. Alexander Velaras, summa cum laude. Alika Rapasura, Ashley Calderaro, Maria Gura, Michael Moresco, Andrew Salato, cum laude, Joshua Whitehead, Megan Sullivan, cum laude, and Rachel Chitram, Nea Ali, and Karen Yin. Aksa Maboud, Kevin Poon. Yohei Jang, cum laude. Andres Alcade. Jennifer Guevara, Sydney Simpson Boateng. Patrick Koflewski, cum laude. Tamaya Munsami. Shrishti Chauhan, cum laude. Omar Halemi. Tanvir Singh, magna cum laude. Angel Zhu, cum laude. Emily Wu, magna cum laude. Marcus Martinez. Michael Catone, summa cum laude. Magdalena Robel. Margaret Bradley, cum laude. Jejun Jung. Turhan Kaber. And Snigda Kanadbiwota, summa cum laude. Theodora Katsaru, Ariadne Katsifas, Sultana Kaur, magna cum laude, Jasleen Kaur, cum laude, Fardeen Khan, cum laude, and Adam K. Amara Cosme, Kayla Keenan, cum laude. 
Nisha Khan, Rafe Kawaja, Julius Ko, and Hema Kilawan. Junyoung Kim, Colette Kodem, Kalina Kapram, Magna Cum Laude, Fatim Kuasi, Darcia Krishnanathasan, Cum Laude, Nicole Kriticos, Rohan Kumar, and Puri. Lar Pai Bunpong, cum laude. Christopher Lau, cum laude. And Matthew Lee, summa cum laude. Zachary Lee, cum laude. Jonathan Lee, cum laude. Eric Lee, magna cum laude. Stephanie Lewis. Tyler Lee, cum laude and John Lee, cum laude. Brandon Lin, cum laude. Ivan Liu. Natalie Lowe, summa cum laude. Christopher Long, cum laude. Isabel Loop, summa cum laude. Piusha Lotlikar, magna cum laude. Samantha Liu, cum laude. Kimberly Liu, summa cum laude. Robert Lum, summa cum laude. Alice Law, cum laude. Julian Letawan, cum laude. Solomane Lee. Jayling Ma, magna cum laude. Cindy Ma. Sydney McKenzie and Bridget Machai, summa cum laude. Christopher Maglione, magna cum laude. And Saeda Mahia. Choti Sherpa, magna cum laude. Numrata Majamdar, summa cum laude. Natasha Malak and Emma Malone, magna cum laude. Brendan Maloney, cum laude. Samantha Manemala. <laughs> Nada Mansour. Jennifer Marciano, cum laude. Justine Marcinek, summa cum laude. Raul Martinez. Isabel Martins, cum laude. Alexander Masela, summa cum laude. Michael Pantania, magna cum laude. Emily Masters, cum laude. Vinci Matthew, summa cum laude. Noble Matuber, cum laude. Anthony Mori, Christopher Mayor. Karthianivan Malivanan, summa cum laude. Allison McGrath, cum laude. Keneal Mehta. Julie Caraballo, cum laude. Emily McCabe. Jessica Messina, Sasha Mir, cum laude. Julie Miko, summa cum laude. Lauren Mistretta, cum laude. Nadine Moad, Natalie Mojica. Julia Montero, Jemima Morgan. Autumn Morris, Rujitha Mukin, magna cum laude. Precious Musa, cum laude. Andrew Murphy, cum laude. Kelsey Murray, Emily Peraza. 
Dutya Nande, Danya Nomani, Marcia Ruth Nagegi, cum laude, Erica Namath, summa cum laude, Evelyn Neri, Bridget Nixon, cum laude, Lindsay Nowak, Kyle Norton, magna cum laude, Chinyer Nwagabi, Kobe Oates, Devin O'Leary, Hussein Osman, Bismarck Owuso Frimpon, summa cum laude, Zachary Pablo, Andrea Paulu, magna cum laude, Emma Pandolfi, Angelis Palkar, Avani Patel, Marvin Paul, Anna Pesci, Brooke Paratore, Marmala Prasad, summa cum laude, Alexander Petrenko, Danielle Petrovich, cum laude. Isadora Pinero Costa, cum laude. Isabella Puzoto, magna cum laude. Kayla Pulizzi, magna cum laude. Taylor Presley. Emily Pribola, cum laude. Tekera Purdy. Jacob Pulipsu, magna cum laude. Shatila Kader. Jonathan Ragubir. Subel Pepper D. Saula Rahil, magna cum laude. Yaifei Wang. Eva Villarreal. Mashuat Rahman, Fatima Rahman, Isha Malik, cum laude, Ruby Rahman, Ashna Rakir, summa cum laude, Shaknova Rakimova. Jerry Ann Romeo, Maga Cum Laude. Excellent. Great job. Erica Rankin, Summa Cum Laude. Imani Radigan. Michael Racine. Thomas Riley, Magna Cum Laude. Lisette Barreto. Carla Sena. Alyssa Renovales, Ariana Singe, Christina Ruiz, Laura Roche, magna cum laude, Jordan Royland, summa cum laude, Anya Rubenstein Corey, Nicholas Rutig, summa cum laude, Marina Ruzik, Thomas Ryan, Marcelina Raishivats, Helena Sabadak, Jared Sajay, Prana Sahadayo, cum laude, Jordan Sahowney, Sikter Sakil. Ella Sachs. Dania Serguro, magna cum laude. 
April Schmuck, magna cum laude. Nile Sebat, magna cum laude. Shreya C. Persaud, magna cum laude. Jessica Semel, cum laude. Saeed Shah. Reet Shah. Rohan Shaa, magna cum laude. Mina Shak, cum laude. Esther Saji. Joseph Stanley. Nathina Sharma, summa cum laude. Rubia Sheikh, cum laude. Diana Shavak, Shana Shudin, cum laude. Matthew Robertson, magna cum laude. Michael Samuz, magna cum laude. Krippi Singnorapa, summa cum laude. Anisha Shinj. Sydney Sirota, summa cum laude. Anna Slang, magna cum laude. Megan Smith. Samuel Soliman, cum laude. Naya Somani, cum laude. Toby B. Sormoran. James Satillo, cum laude. Salesh Shrivnas, summa cum laude. Jason Steiner, cum laude. Nicholas Sturge, cum laude. Nasir Stoval, summa cum laude. Ariana Sullivan. Shoaib Syed, cum laude. Suyan Tao, Mariam Tavab, summa cum laude. Nathaniel Chongo, magna cum laude. Andrew Sara Tomas. Drav Thoda. Patricia Tiang, cum laude. Joshua Torres, summa cum laude. Malik Tranquil. Christian Uruja. Kimonas Valais, cum laude. Vishnu Verma. Ahmad Mohammed Wadi, magna cum laude. Sophia Wahidula, cum laude. Allison Wang. Raphael Wirtz, magna cum laude. Thomas Whitbread, summa cum laude. Jonathan Wine, cum laude. Michaela Winkler, summa cum laude. Whitney Wong, magna cum laude. Michelle Wong, cum laude. Kingston Wong, Nita Wong, summa cum laude. Eva Wu, magna cum laude. Andy Zhao, magna cum laude. Milana Yagodeva. Brittany Yan. Louis Yang, summa cum laude. Cassandra Yap, summa cum laude. Gauri Yira Mali, cum laude. Lucy Yin, magna cum laude. Tiffany Yuan, summa cum laude. Gavin Yu, cum laude. Hassan Yusuf. 
Raisa Zahedu. Sydney Zhang, summa cum laude. Chao Feng Zhang, magna cum laude. Sally Zhang, cum laude. Lillian Zhang, cum laude. Jinghu Zhao, cum laude. Xiphone Zhu. Steven Zhu, summa cum laude. Leonardo Zhao. Kareem Musa. Rima Rashid, cum laude. Brianna Haynes. Tiger Zhu, summa cum laude. Jerry Liu. David Huynh. Danica Emmanuel, Jamin Ku, Yuri Takayama, magna cum laude, Soshana Rosenstein, cum laude, Lauren Teleska, magna cum laude, Amina Kamran, cum laude, Mercedes Odima. And now that we have recognized all of our in-person graduates, we will be honoring our graduates joining us remotely. Benjamin Bacon, Colin Bennett, Nathaniel Chester, Nicole Dergotsis, Jacob Flanzebaum, Dallas Jordan, Thomas Kelly, Jinghen Liu, Fernando Orellana, Chanchong Tang, Courtney Adler, magna cum laude, Milad Iwazali, Catherine Alanya, Daniel Alderondo, Robert Arnold, Nicholas Babal Khan, Brianna Benitez, Matthew Busey, magna cum laude, Harleen Batia, Kenneth Kai, Alexander Kalesi, Coco Campbell, Kelly Cow, cum laude, Michelle Chan, magna cum laude. Bianca Chandler, summa cum laude. Alyssa Chow. David Chen, cum laude. Xin Yu Chen, cum laude. Injun Choi. Josh Kumar Chowdhury, cum laude. Samira Chowdhury. Jennifer Chung. Douglas Clare. Ariel Connolly. Eric Kui, summa cum laude. Naomi Diller Calhoun. Ryan Dury. Gennaro Fuentes. Dylan Gardner. Sonali George. Jose Guerrez. Peter Giamana. Anastasia Goffman. Maya Gomez. Nina Gu. Sarah Guagliano. Jose Guerra, magna cum laude. Laith Hanna, Mohammed Harb, summa cum laude. Amir Hassan, summa cum laude. Judy Hernandez, Mina Hong. Kyle Hugervust, Sophia Hu. David Quinn, Amena Islam, cum laude. Barsha Islam, Annalisa Giacovelli, Awiha Jang, Ali Karima, Fasail Khan, Ziad Khan, Camilla Karatinova, William Laterer, Emily Lamb, Tina Lee, Gianna Liguri, magna cum laude, Justin Ligasson, Annie Lin, cum laude, Vicky Lin, Hanjin Lin, Michael Liu, cum laude, Miroslava Dranek, Kevin Levichusa, Athnia Lowe, Luciana Lombardo, Keenlan May, Aditya Mal, 
Nikitha Menon Cum Laude, Sabrine Maya, Tomataka Mizuno Cum Laude, James Moran, Sungwan Ne, Roxana Nadim. No Shein Nawal, Magna Cum Laude, Jade Nichols, Obina and Wusa, Summa Cum Laude, Mercedes Odima, Matthew O'Hara, Diana Palencia, Heikyu Pan, Kayla Pru, Varon Reddy, Magna Cum Laude, Peter Wren, Magna Cum Laude, Abigail Ruiz, Magna Cum Laude, Anna Sajan, Cum Laude, Layman Samantha Emily, Decker Saunders, Angelo Scatorchio, Christina Shumsik, Tong Shan, Cum Laude, Corinne Sharma, Annabelle Shuin, Eleonora Shin, Magna Cum Laude, Andrew Salato, Cum Laude, Stephen Silverman, Vincent Simonetti, Brandon Spichiarich, Chahan Shrati, Yuri Takayama, Magna Cum Laude, Tahia Tamana, Cum Laude, Eugenia Theodoso Pulos, Cum Laude, Kennedy Thomas, Magna Cum Laude, Patrick Trin, Naang Toon, Stephanie Vargas, Olivia Voles, Maha Wahid, Yvonne Wong, Joshua Whithead, Alexandra Wolf, Isabella Yo, Margarita Yerovats, William Zhang, Winnie Jiang, Yukyan Zhang, Magna Cum Laude, Angel Zhao, Cum Laude. We now invite Provost Goldbart forward to present the class of 2021. At this time, I would like to invite all candidates for professional master's and bachelor's degrees and advanced graduate certificates to rise. President McInnes, these students have met the graduation requirements set by the Board of Trustees. As the representative of their faculty, I am proud to present them to you and respectfully request that you confer upon them the degrees and certificates for which they are qualified. By the authority invested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer degrees upon all of you who have completed the respective requirements with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. As tradition goes, there comes a time during the ceremony when graduates are asked to turn their tassel from one side of their cap to another to signify the earning of a degree. You are all now graduates of Stony Brook University, and you may now turn your tassels from right to left and toss your caps. Congratulations, Stony Brook Class of 2021.
We conclude our ceremony with a special alumni message and presentation of our alma mater by the spirit of Stony Brook Marching Band. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. On behalf of the Stony Brook Alumni Association, congratulations to you, class of 2021. Good luck with your future endeavors. Congratulations, Seawolves. I am so, so proud of you. You did it. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Go out and conquer the world. I am rooting for you flowers to you. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations on achieving your goal of graduating from Stony Brook University. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You guys did it. Welcome to the alumni family. Hey, class of 2021. You've had to overcome many hurdles this year, but you've persevered and accomplished so much. But don't stop now, this is just the beginning. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations to the Stony Brook University class of 2021. You've endured a truly historic senior year and nothing can stop you now. So get out there and show the world what sea wolves are made of. You're now armed with a great education from one of the nation's best universities. It's time to go out and make your mark on this world, just like the 200,000 plus alums who've come before you. To the class of 2021, congratulations. Enjoy this day. And remember, you're a sea wolf for life. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Rob DeBrower, class of 87, and president of your alumni association. Congratulations again, stay connected, and involved. Congratulations, class of 2021. Welcome to the Alumni Association. Congratulations to all our graduates and their families. Our ceremony is now concluded. Thank you.